Hey guys, welcome again to another video here on our channel. So today I will be flying to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on American Airlines economy class. So stick around as we go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on this quick one hour flight. So today, well, since we're flying to Philadelphia, I already did all my check-in online. So I don't need to do any check-in here. So I have my boarding pass already. And I'm also only carrying the carry-on. So I do not need to go to the counter. So everything is dandy and I don't see long lines on security. So I'm gonna head over to uh, inside there and then go to my gate and wait until my flight is ready to board. So we just went through the security and it was about two minutes. Uh, so it wasn't too bad, no issue there. And now we're gonna be heading to the gate to catch our flight. Uh, we have about 45 minutes to explore. Uh, so we're not rushing. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So normally when I'm traveling um, on American Airlines internationally, I do have access to the Admirals Club, but I also used to have a credit card for their lounge, but now I do not anymore. So we have an hour to kill. I'm not gonna be able to go to the lounge. I'm just gonna kill it right here. Find a space, quiet place, and be able to actually do my work. So. Sometimes we do have access to lounge and sometimes we don't. So this is one of the cases where we actually do not have access to lounge. So one thing is, I'm not sure why I hear Raleigh Durham, they did this, like these windows, they obstruct the views of the actual plane. So if you are trying to watch plane or actually record it, I think watching it is not a problem, but if you get ready to like record it, it's so hard to get a like, nicer view of the plane. So, and then we can see here, we have a yellow that flies here from Raleigh Durham now. And then we have a JetBlue. And then the other thing for Raleigh Durham itself, the airport has grown a lot. Um, just, it's serving a lot more people. It's busier than normal. Um, it's just just a lot of growth happening in the Raleigh Durham area. Uh, and I remember when I first started traveling here and uh, traveling out of Raleigh, it'll take no time to get through the airport, security and so on. But now it just takes forever just because there's just a lot of people um, traveling now so and if you come in the wrong time security lines can be super long uh, and we've experienced that in the past so but anyways I've seen a lot of positivity a lot of growth here in the Raleigh Durham area uh, we have um, a lot of uh, direct routes to international destinations um, when it comes to like Europe um, we have flights going to Europe directly to London with American Airlines uh, directly to Paris with Delta and I think uh, United is also flying from here to Frankfurt. I'm not sure if that, that route has been resumed yet, but they used to fly direct flight from here to Frankfurt. And then you also have, of course, uh, flights to Mexico, uh, to Dominican Republic, uh, to the Caribbean countries. So, which is really um, an improvement for the Raleigh-Durham area. So, very impressed with the airport so far. Shortly, it was time for us to board our flight. We boarded as group two. As we board the flight, the cabin is composed of two classes or two cabins. First cabin is the first class and then the second cabin is the economy. The first class is composed of eight seats on the 2-2 configuration and then uh, the economy class is 3-3 three, three, uh, configuration. And then we are sitting in row 14 and this is what the exit rows for this uh, flight. So it gives you enough storage space underneath you in front of you there is a charging port as well uh, if you need to charge your computer or your phone there's also a tray table and this one was a little bit dirty anyways 
not too bad. Apart from that, uh, as I stated, there's a lot of leg room in front of you uh, between your seat and the seat in front of you. So, so far, so good. Okay, we just boarded a flight and getting ready to go to Philly. This is going to be a one hour flight. So, not too bad. There's a lot of space in the seat area. So, no issue there. So, should be a great flight. Again, a quick, short one hour flight to Philadelphia. started our push back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As we were pushing back, we saw the London flight arriving. I've taken this flight several times and I've actually recently documented my experience on board American Airlines from Raleigh, Durham to London Heathrow. So that video will be coming out to our channel very shortly, so stay tuned for that video. We also saw the Delta Airline flight from Paris also has just arrived. So it was pretty cool to see two long haul European flights to Raleigh, Durham arriving almost about the same time and parked at the gate. So this is really something that I believe in the future, Raleigh, Durham Airport will definitely expand and have more international long haul flights. As I was getting excited to be on our way to Philadelphia, we were informed that Philadelphia was having a bad weather and because of that, we had to be in a holding cell for about one hour. So our flight was delayed for one hour. And shortly after that, we were on our way to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Not a whole lot of amenity available for this short flight. Because American Airlines does not have screen monitor on certain of their flights, you have the ability to connect to their Wi-Fi and then access the entertainment that way. American Airlines has a huge selection of entertainment uh, during the flight, and especially for this short flight, there's definitely a lot of options that you can be able to watch. So I was able to browse through and select different movies that they have. Again, most of these shows I've already watched, given that I do a lot of traveling, but it doesn't hurt to get something uh, during this short period of time. There's also an option for you to get it online or get to Wi-Fi, but this will cost you a little bit of $12 for the entire flight pass, or you can also have a monthly plan and other plans that are available. There's also an option for you to watch a live TV if you need to. This is actually what I did during this flight. Shortly, the mail service started, and because this is again a short flight, they gave us biscuit and also your choice of drinks. So I selected coffee and Coke Zero. We 
started our descent into Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and this show of amazing, beautiful clouds was just awesome. So this is one of the reasons why I love sitting by the window, so I can be able to enjoy and mesmerize all this beauty that God has created. So anyways, if you are like me and you enjoy watching the clouds or just having a beautiful scenery while you fly, please leave a comment below. We arrived in Philadelphia one hour behind schedule and shortly after that we were on our way to our gate. And because this was my only flight, I was not too worried about missing any connection. So if you are flying anywhere in Philadelphia or just around this time, I always recommend that you are booking your connecting flights anywhere between two to three hours or even more just so it gives you enough time in case there's any sort of delay. So I just landed and now we're gonna go to the city. So this is good, good flight, with the exception of some delays, and we'll talk about it in a second. So anyways, we've arrived in Philadelphia. And right now we're on our way to catch the train and go to the city. So let's talk about this flight. Um, we just arrived in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So while we were in Raleigh, we were told to be on the holding cell because Philadelphia was not allowing any flights to get here because of the weather. Uh, and because of that, we were delayed for about one hour uh, to get here uh, in Philadelphia. So apart from that, there's no issue. 
flight was actually pretty quick. Um, I'll say the crew, uh, with the minimum interaction that I had with them, they were very friendly. Um, again, it's, this is where the issue with American Airlines is a hit and miss. Sometimes you get a great crew and sometimes you get a horrible crew. Uh, there's no consistency there in the service. Um, but anyways, about this specific uh, crew that we actually got to get here in Philadelphia, they were super, they were great. Um, so really appreciate the flight. Great flight, uh, again, apart from the delay, no major issue there. So really enjoyed the flight here in Philadelphia. So if you enjoy watching this video, be sure that you actually smack the like button. Um, and also, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And then stay tuned for more videos like this. So thank you for watching. See you on the next video.